Hey, you guys. It's literally me. I'm funny. Sometimes I buy stuff, sometimes I say stuff, and sometimes I do stuff. Ugh, I feel like I can't talk. What's up, guys? So, today, if you have been watching my videos, I have been partaking in all the sales that are happening. I'll be honest here, I got a raise at work recently, and it has given me a little bit more of expendable income, so I've been like a little like, oh, I'm gonna buy some more stuff, but I really need to like hone it in, like really. But this is another video of stuff that I bought on a sale. It is the Pink and Victoria's Secret semi-annual sale. Now let me tell you a little story of the history of me and Pink and Victoria's Secret. If you followed me for a while, you know I have this amazing weight loss story. And back when I was severely morbidly obese, Victoria's Secret and Pink was just one of those brands that like, you know, I couldn't even step foot into because like I was just not fitting in anything in there. So then when I lost all my weight and I went in with one of my girlfriends and I started trying on the stuff, I was like, you know, overjoyed that I was able to fit into a brand that I had been wanting to buy for like my entire life. And then I became like a super fan of it. Like I bought everything, everything, everything. You know, Victoria's Secrets has those panty sales. I had like 800 pairs of panties. I don't even wear panties, but like I just wanted to have them because I could wear them. And pink had turned into my ultimate luxury loungewear type thing. I was wearing it to the gym. I was wearing it around the house. And then, I don't know, I eventually just kind of fell out of it. <laughs> I can't really give you a reason why, I just did. I was one of those people that like souped up the points on the credit cards and I was buying stuff all the time. And then just like one day I just, I don't know, just stopped buying the stuff all of the time and started going to other brands. I will, however, say that I have two pink items that I have been wearing for probably over 10 years. <laughs> And I have them here to show ya. <laughs> so uh, this pink bralette, I have had over 10 years. It is a just cotton kind of loungy sports bra. Let me see, I don't even know what size this is. This is in the size large. I wear this thing like all the time, all the time. This, I have lived in this. I have worn it to work, under work clothes. I like, I wear this all the time. And unfortunately they don't make this anymore. Obviously it's like 10 years old, but look, it's, it's kept up pretty good. So when they were having the sale, I was like, let me try another pink loungewear bra. So I do have one of those to show you today. I also have another 10 year old item from pink. I actually had this on today before filming this video, but this is, one of their lounge active tops. I mean, look, I even like painted my house in it. Like, <laughs> there's paint in there. This is a size small and it's just, I don't know, there's this super comfortable, it like covers everything, I, I don't know. So I was on the hunt for another tank top, which I do have one of those as well. Anyway, let's get into the bag. Actually, before we get into the bag. <laughs> So I did order like a bunch of stuff online. This is all stuff online and some of it came, I tried it all on and some of it was really, a lot of it was really too big. So I actually went back and ordered the sizes that I needed. So I'm just telling, I don't know why I'm telling you that. Let's scooch over here because I do have video of me trying this stuff on. Disclaimer, hey, I just told you I had a weight loss story. I'm baking cinnamon buns in the back. I've got some skin. I've also had some work done. So let's just all be open-minded and just, you know, everybody is different. So since I talked about the bra first, let's just go ahead and show you the bra. I picked up this, these are all on sale. This is the pink seamless plunge bra. I bought it in a size large. This was $10.49 on sale. So super cheap. I thought, let me go ahead and give it a try. This is kind of like a microfiber soft material. It's no, wireless. Uh, obviously it says it's seamless, uh, but Maybe it is, um, but it's got the real stretchy band. I like that it has the thick band on the bottom, which is something I'm looking for in lounge bras. This was in the shade pink, obviously. 
And I will say that this is actually pretty comfortable. I actually thought it was so comfortable that I went back when I had to reorder some other sizes. I got it in a forest green shade, and then I also got it in a coffee brown shade, but I actually bought this one in a medium because as comfortable as these are, if I do want a little bit more support, I bought a size down. So, you know, for $11 a piece, I thought that these were like a pretty good deal. And the colors are very beautiful and they are very comfortable. I like how they have like this little gold pink tag on the back. Um, super chic, super comfortable, very easy. So happy with this purchase. And since we talked about the tank top, this was the tank top that I bought to replace that tank top. I don't even wanna say replace, I'm just gonna say supplement. <laughs> this is the Knit Racerback Everyday Tank Top. Now, I bought it in the coffee shade. This was the only shade that they had available in the size small, so. I ended up getting, I don't mind this color. I think it's really, really cute. I love the white contrast detail around the neck and arms. I think that's really cute. This was only $9.99, so that's like completely the price I wanna pay. I think if it was $6.99, it would've been a little bit better, but this one is just plain on the front. There's no like pink logo detail. The only pink detail that they have is the little dog on the very corner, but this is just like a cotton tank top. It's very flowy, very comfortable. Again, and it has like the wider strap so it like covers everything but it is a racer back which i prefer racer back in most things i don't know why i just feel like it's more comfortable but for ten dollars i am definitely gonna get some use out of this like for sure the next item is one of the items that i had to return and get in a smaller size this is the everyday lounge relax jogger and i originally bought it in a large and when i put it on i was like okay this is totally comfortable, but it was really big. Like it was doing nothing for me. I mean, obviously a very relaxed waistline is very comfortable when you're lounging, but like I felt like I was kind of swimming in it. So I did return it and I did get a size medium. And I think these ones do fit like a little bit more like they're supposed to. Joggers are supposed to be like a little bit baggy, but also not like moo moo pants, <laughs> you know? Like they're supposed to give your butt like a little bit and they're just like a sweat pant material. So they're like super comfortable. These ones do have like kind of a like fuzzy fleece on the inside, which is typical for a lot of the pink sweatpants that I own. So not too mad about that, but I'm probably gonna have to wait till fall or winter time to actually like use these things. These were only $14.99. And as far as I know, that's a pretty good price for some pink sweatpants because I, you know, have bought so many in my life. But I do like these. They have a drawstring, they have the cuff at the bottom, and they do have the really cute white pink logo detail on the side. I really do like these and for $15, I, I'm really not mad at it. Also, they are super cute together, like with the pink bra and everything. So it is like a cute little set. The last item that I ordered is the one that I was like, uh, I don't, not really in the market for this because I technically don't like leggings that are seamless, like seamless, seamless. I do feel like when you're buying leggings, that seam that goes up the butt is actually very important for the shape of the said butt. Now, I don't mind not having the seam in the front because it eliminates a little bit of that, you know, toe. I feel like the seam in the back is very important. However, these are the seamless high waist full length workout pants and they were only $11.24. So I was like, okay, a legging workout legging for under $12, I'm definitely gonna give them a shot. Surprisingly enough, I ended up really liking these. Uh, they are super comfortable. I guess maybe because they have no seams. I mean, unless you're counting the seams in the crotch. I mean, they, they do have to sew the thing together. But these are really actually comfortable. Like, I like them a lot. I'm honestly not a huge fan of the high, high waist either. In this video, you can see they, they come up really high. I'm not such a fan of that, but I don't mind them in this because this the waistband is really thick and it is really giving. I do like the pattern. I know it's supposed to like kind of accentuate your butt and then it has these ones that run down the leg that kind of give you like a streamlined look. I do like that. And the only thing that I could say that I don't like about these aside from the high high waist is I felt like the bottoms like the low knee to ankle were like a little bit more baggy than I would like them I wanted them to be like 
super sock, you know, form fitting. And these ones, as you know, obviously I have huge thighs, but like they were tight around the upper part of the leg, but around the bottom they like weren't. But you know what? For eleven dollars, I'm not I'm not gonna complain about it. I actually like these ones a lot. We are going to the movies today, and I think I'm probably going to wear these. <laughs> All right, that's it. That's all I have for you guys. What did you think? Do you guys look out for the semi-annual sale from Victoria's Secrets in pink? I mean, I used to all the time. And the only reason that I did it this time, again, because I got the raise, but two, they sent me an email and like had, you know, like the lounge bralettes like advertised. And I was like, eh, I'm kind of in the market. I'm taking part of these sales that are going on. If you've watched the last couple of my videos, you saw some stuff that I bought on sale. And I think the next video is what I bought on Prime Day. So stay tuned for that. If you could please like this video, it really does help me out. If you comment down below on if you think any of these things are really cute, you would be awesome. And if you could subscribe to follow all of my antics, that would be the awesomest. I love you so much. I will see you on the next one.